Over the past two decades, Turkey has rapidly transformed into a key player in the global defense industry. A significant part of this transformation is its emergence as a leader in drone technology. The drone program has seen significant success, particularly with the development and deployment of the Bayraktar TB2 and TB3 drones. These drones have been used effectively in various conflict zones, including Syria, Libya, and more recently, Ukraine. From humble beginnings, the country's program has grown to rival those of major military powers. As of now, Turkish drones are utilized by nearly 35 countries, showcasing their global reach and the trust placed in their defense technology. But how did Turkey build the world's largest fleet of armed drones? And what makes these drones so popular today? Well, let's start by saying that in the past 23 years, Turkey has seen remarkable industrial growth. This growth has been particularly notable in the heavy industry sector, where it now stands on par with countries like France, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Since the early 2000s, the country has implemented strategic economic reforms and invested heavily in its industrial base. This has led to a consistent rise in industrial production, with an average growth rate of 5.7% annually over the past decade, far exceeding the 3.2% average for Eastern Europe. This industrial expansion has not only boosted its economy, but also significantly enhanced capabilities in manufacturing advanced defense technologies. By 2022, Turkey's industrial production growth was one of the highest among G20 countries. This substantial growth has laid a solid foundation for its burgeoning defense sector, enabling it to compete with established defense industries globally. The Turkish armed forces are among the largest and most capable military forces in the world. Within NATO, Turkey has the second largest standing army, second only to the United States. Globally, the country ranks 13th in terms of military strength. This high ranking is particularly impressive considering its non-nuclear status. Unlike some other top military powers, the country does not possess its own nuclear arsenal, but benefits from NATO's nuclear sharing arrangements, which provide a form of indirect nuclear capability. Military strength is not just in numbers, but also in strategic capabilities and modern equipment. The country's focus on developing indigenous defense technologies, including advanced UAVs, tanks like the Altay, and naval vessels such as the Barbaros-class frigates, has enhanced its operational readiness and versatility. Turkey is also building its own fifth-generation fighter jet, further demonstrating its commitment to self-reliance in defense. This robust military infrastructure ensures that it remains a key player in regional security and a vital member of the NATO alliance. The country's sophisticated military equipment, which is now being exported worldwide, further cements its status as a global defense powerhouse. But today, we'll focus on the remarkable drones they have developed. The mastermind behind them? Baikar Company, and in particular, Selçuk Bayraktar. Baikar was founded in 1984 as a family-owned company that initially produced automobile components. The founder's son, Selçuk Bayraktar, graduated in electrical engineering and then, while studying at MIT, focused on aggressive landing maneuvers for unmanned aerial vehicles. However, he left the program early in 2007 to dedicate himself to Baikar. Under his leadership, the company shifted its focus to UAV technology in the early 2000s. Selçuk played a pivotal role in developing the Bayraktar TB2, an extremely effective drone that has gained global recognition for its performance and innovation. We can say that he is the godfather of the most advanced drone technologies. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. Now, let's take a closer look at these drones, starting with the one that truly put Turkey on the map, the Bayraktar TB2. The TB2 has been a transformative development for Turkey's defense industry. This medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned combat aerial vehicle can operate both remotely and autonomously. First flown in August 2014, it gained international attention with a successful test firing of a missile in December 2015, followed by the deployment of laser-guided bombs in subsequent tests. Unlike its predecessor, the TB-1, which relied on imported components, the TB-2 is predominantly built with Turkish-made parts, enhancing Turkey's self-sufficiency in defense manufacturing. It measures 6.5 meters in length, has a wingspan of 12 meters, and stands 2.2 meters tall, 
With a payload capacity of 150 kilograms, the TB2 can carry a range of laser-guided munitions, including the MAM-L and MAM-C. These weapons allow it to engage targets with high accuracy, striking from distances up to 8 kilometers and extendable to 14 kilometers with advanced navigation systems. It operates at speeds up to 220 kilometers per hour and can reach altitudes of up to 8 200 meters. It can travel up to 150 kilometers and stay airborne for an impressive 27 hours, thanks to its efficient design and fuel storage system. It features a unique design with a blended wing body and an inverted V-tail structure. It is powered by an internal combustion engine that drives a two-blade propeller in a pusher configuration. Its modular construction allows for easy assembly and maintenance, with the body made mainly of carbon fiber composites for strength and lightweight, and aluminum joints. Fuel storage is handled by bladder tanks and the system uses solenoid valves to balance fuel consumption. The ground control station, compliant with NATO standards, uses redundant systems to ensure reliable and secure operations. The next evolution in the Bayraktar series is the TB-3, Designed for operations from Turkey's first aircraft carrier, TCG Anadolu, it can perform short-range takeoffs and landings. This drone is intended for deployment from naval vessels, enhancing the country's maritime capabilities. This new model measures 8.35 meters in length, 2.6 meters in height, and has a wingspan of 14 meters, making it larger than the TB-2. It also boasts a higher payload capacity of 280 kilograms, allowing it to carry more advanced and heavier munitions. One of the key advancements of the TB-3 is its speed, capable of reaching up to 300 kilometers per hour, surpassing the TB-2's 220 kilometers per hour. This increase in speed, coupled with its enhanced payload, makes the TB-3 a more versatile and powerful UAV. It is powered by an engine developed by the Turkish company Tasij Engine Industries and features advanced avionics, including interchangeable electro-optical, infrared, and laser designator systems, as well as multi-mode ESA radar. Next up is the Kazalelma jet-powered unmanned combat aerial vehicle, representing a significant leap forward in Turkey's drone technology. This advanced drone is designed to perform high-speed, high-altitude missions. It made its maiden flight in December 2023 and has since undergone rigorous testing, showcasing its capabilities. It can carry a payload of 1,500 kilograms and has an impressive operational range of 930 kilometers. It operates at an altitude of over 10,000 meters and can reach speeds up to 900 kilometers per hour. Production of the Kazalelma is set to begin in 2024, with plans to conduct flight tests from the TCG Anadolu in 2025. This drone is expected to play a crucial role in Turkey's defense strategy, offering advanced stealth features, autonomous operation capabilities, and compatibility with a variety of weapon systems. And the advancements don't stop there. Turkey is pushing forward with cutting-edge models like the Anka-3 and making significant upgrades to existing drones like the Akunji and Anka-S. The Anka-3 is a twin-engine, supersonic unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for high-speed aerial combat. It features advanced flight control software and can perform complex missions autonomously, making it a formidable addition to Turkey's drone fleet. The Akunji drone, another key asset, has been upgraded to enhance its range and payload capacity. It is now equipped with satellite communication technology, allowing for extended operational reach. The Anka-S, a long-endurance drone, has also seen improvements in its avionics and sensor systems, making it more versatile and effective in various mission profiles. So, we've seen how advanced Turkey's drones are, but what about the economic side of things? These drones are also having a huge impact on the economy, particularly within the military-industrial complex. The export of these drones has significantly boosted the country's defense revenues and positioned it as a major player in the global arms market. The economic significance of these exports is underscored by the substantial revenue they generate. In 2022, defense and aerospace sector exports reached a record $4.4 billion, with drone sales contributing a large portion of this figure. The continued success on the global stage has driven projections even higher, with expectations of over $7 billion in drone export revenues by the end of 2023. Recent export deals have played a crucial role in this economic growth. For instance, Baikar secured a lucrative $370 million contract with Kuwait for the sale of TB2 drones. 
Additionally, the company signed a significant agreement with Romania, marking the inclusion of TB2 drones in the inventories of four NATO member countries. The economic impact extends beyond direct sales. The establishment of drone production facilities in countries like Saudi Arabia and Ukraine creates new job opportunities and fosters technological collaboration. In Saudi Arabia, Baikar has signed agreements to set up local production capabilities, which will enhance logistical efficiency and strengthen strategic ties with the Gulf region. In Ukraine, the company is building a new factory near Kiev dedicated to producing TB2 and TB3 drones. This facility will employ 500 people and benefit from various incentives provided by the Ukrainian government. The collaboration with Ukraine is particularly strategic as it allows the leverage of Ukrainian expertise in engine manufacturing and provides logistical advantages for drone production. Moreover, the investment in drone technology has spurred the growth of related industries. The development of advanced components and systems for drones has driven innovation in sectors such as electronics, aerospace, and materials engineering. This not only enhances the overall technological capabilities of the country, but also creates a multiplier effect, generating further economic benefits through increased industrial activity and exports. As already mentioned, Turkey's drone program has quickly risen to prominence, standing shoulder to shoulder with leading countries in the industry such as the United States, China, and Israel. Let's compare their capabilities and see why Turkey holds a competitive position. The United States is widely recognized as a leader in drone technology, primarily due to its advanced UAVs like the MQ-9 Reaper and the RQ-4 Global Hawk. American drones are known for their long endurance, high altitude, and sophisticated sensor systems, which provide unparalleled surveillance and strike capabilities. The MQ-9 Reaper, for instance, costs between $14 and $32 million per unit, depending on its configuration, and can carry a payload of up to 1,700 kilograms, including air-to-ground missiles and laser-guided bombs. China has rapidly expanded its drone capabilities, focusing on mass production and affordability to capture a significant share of the global market. The CH-4 and Wing Lung series are the most notable Chinese drones, the CH-4, often compared to the US MQ-9 Reaper, is available at a lower price, typically ranging from $1 to $4 million per unit. It can carry a payload of up to 345 kilograms and is known for its versatility and cost-effectiveness. These drones are widely exported to countries in the Middle East and Africa, making them attractive to many nations looking to enhance their aerial capabilities without the high costs associated with Western models. Israel is another dominant force in the drone industry, with a long history of UAV development. Israeli drones, such as the Heron and Hermes series, are renowned for their advanced technology and operational effectiveness. The Heron TP, for instance, can cost upwards of $10 million per unit and is capable of long-endurance missions, equipped with cutting-edge surveillance equipment. It can carry a payload of up to 270 kilograms. Israel's expertise in UAV technology is reflected in its ability to innovate continuously, maintaining a strong presence in both the military and commercial drone markets. Turkey's drone program focuses on creating versatile, cost-effective drones that have proven highly effective in combat situations. The TB2, for example, is relatively affordable, with costs around $5 million per unit, and it can carry a payload of up to 150 kilograms. This affordability makes Turkish drones accessible to a broader range of countries, enabling Turkey to compete effectively against Chinese drones in the global market. So, while the U.S. excels in high-endurance, high-altitude drones with significant payload capacities, China focuses on affordable mass production and Israel emphasizes advanced technology and operational effectiveness. Turkey, on the other hand, offers a balanced approach with its Bayraktar series, providing cost-effective yet highly capable drones that meet a wide range of operational needs. This unique position has allowed Turkey to expand its drone exports rapidly, challenging established players and securing a robust foothold in the international defense market.